Hi everybody, I welcome you all to a lecture on local anesthetics. All of you know that anesthesia plays a major role in surgeries. So the anesthetics are broadly classified into two varieties as general anesthetics and local anesthetics. And topic for today's lecture is local anesthetics. The local anesthetics are nothing but the agents which are applied to a localized area of a body either in the form of topical application or in the form of injections which produce loss of sensation of pain in the particular area of the body without loss of consciousness. So, in this lecture, I am going to talk about the different origin of the local anesthetics, the mechanism of action, the classification, the structure activity relationship, the choice of local anesthetics. Today, we are going to see a presentation on local anesthetics. The local anesthetics are nothing but the drugs which upon topical application or local injection cause reversible loss of sensory perception, especially pain in a restricted area of body. Use for temporary and reversible elimination of pain feelings. These drugs are applied locally and block nerve conduction of sensory impulses from periphery to the CNS. Unlike the general anesthetics, they cause loss of feelings without including unconsciousness. So, in this presentation, we are going to see the different aspects of local anesthetics like the history, mechanism of action, classification of local anesthetics, the structure activity relationship of local anesthetics, the choice of anesthetics, its applications, the toxicity caused by local anesthetics and how to manage the toxicity caused by local anesthetic. To start with, the history of local anesthetic. Before the use of local anesthetic to elevate a patient's pain, surgeons must perform the surgeries very fast. Later, Jean Larry, the French surgeon who was in the army of Napoleon, was considered to be the modern day military surgeon who used a technique called hypothermia, that is dissipation of the body heat using ice which to elevate the pain. In 1848, Arnott reported that he had used a pig's bladder to fill with ice to elevate pain. The history of local anesthesia started in 1859 when cocaine was isolated by Neiman from the coca plants. In 1884, when studying the effects of cocaine on fatigue, a colleague of Kohler reported that the drug numbed his tongue. Carl Kohler then investigated this claim and found that cocaine hydrochloride caused local anesthesia and Kohler went on to use cocaine hydrochloride as a local anesthetic agent in a surgery, ophthalmologic surgery in 1884. In the same year, Dr. Alstead used cocaine as a regional anesthetic agent to extract the wisdom tooth without pain. Later on, when cocaine was found to be addictive and toxic, there was a search for the non-addictive local anesthetic agent. So the Alfred A. Horn seeking an anesthetic to replace cocaine which is non-addictive as well as effective as a local anesthetic agent discovered procaine which was marketed in the trade name of Novocaine. So A. Horn went on to patent nearly the ester of 18 esters of para benzoic acid that of the procaine derivatives and it was marketed and procaine came to the discovery of procaine came. So procaine was marketed in the name of Novocaine and it was appeared first time in 1905 in an article published by Professor Enrich Braun. And Novocaine was found to be safe and quickly became the standard local anesthetic. Then came the discovery of Lidocaine in 1943. Lo Lofren and Bench developed a xylitine derivative and named it as Lidocaine. Moving on to the mechanism action of the local anesthetics. These agents are believed to act by inhibiting sodium channels of the nerve membrane. They block nerve conduction by decreasing entry of sodium ion during upstroke of action potential. It interacts with receptors situated in voltage sensitive sodium channel and raise threshold of channel.